Screens on your tank are a common sense way to ensure that vermin and mosquitoes don't enter your rainwater tank. If you have a tank in New South Wales, the New South Wales State Government requires screens on all tanks to ensure there is no breeding of mosquitoes. To do this, we simply remove the screws that hold the screen in and we remove it, cleaning out any debris that's in it. These screens may need to be hosed or scrubbed depending on what's in them and how dirty they are. At this point we need to ensure that there are no rips and tears in the screen anywhere. It's all in good condition that would let any vermin in. We then reinstall the screen, put all the screws back in and make sure it's fastened tightly. If the screen here is not cleaned regularly, the water out of the stormwater pipe overflows, causing a nuisance for not only you, but your neighbours as well. Remember, when cleaning these screens, you're working at heights, so make sure you follow the safe work practices of working at heights. Some tanks have a filter bag like this installed underneath the inlet strainer. If you have a filter bag, it requires extra maintenance. If this bag is blocked with fine debris or algae, the water that flows into your tank can't escape out through the bag quick enough and your tank will overflow out through the inlet strainer. So we need to make sure that we wash this bag regularly to keep it maintained. Screens on your outlet of your tank are just as important as the screens on the inlet. The outlet of your rainwater tank allows the water to flow out of your tank once your tank's full into the stormwater system. If you have a fixed style screen on the outlet to your rainwater tank in the pit, you need to ensure that the screen is not blocked with debris to allow the water to flow through clearly. If you have a flap style screen, we need to make sure that the screen doesn't jam open, allowing vermin to enter the tank. We also need to ensure that there's no rips and tears in the screen to allow vermin in. We'll show another demonstration of this at our next location. Here we are at another location. What you see here is most common of a new home construction. It's important to note though, we have the same features as what we did before. We have the inlet to the tank, we have the inlet strainer, we have your first flush device, we have the outlet, and the outlet valve. And that's pretty much inlet and outlet screen maintenance. Always follow safe work practices or engage with the services of a trained and licensed contractor if you have any concerns. And this is very important, do not get in the tank yourself.